Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI's T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 158. Today is our lesson number 158 and we are on page number 94. On page 94 where we talk about units of measurements. Page 94, day 158. Units of measurements. What do we mean by units of measurements? This is where we're going to learn how to convert our units from metric to the English system that you, that you use in the US, the English system, sometimes it is referred to as the imperial system or sometimes as it is called in this book, the standard system. Standard system, imperial system, English system, that's where you go around measuring things with inches and yards and, and uh, feet as opposed to meters and kilometers. That's where you go about measuring the weights of uh, different things in terms of uh, ounces and pounds and so forth and instead of using the kilogram and the gram, the metric system. We have to be able to go back and forth between the two because unfortunately we live in, a, in the world, in the US, where uh, we use both of them. Outside in the everyday life we use the English system, but in the scientific field, in the nursing area and so forth, uh, you will come across metric system. You have to be able to understand what they mean if they're talking about 33 grams, you have to be able to conceptualize how heavy is 33 grams, how much weight are we talking about. If they're talking about, they're telling you that some, uh, the incision was th three, three centimeter long, well, you have to be able to visualize in your mind how long is that incision? Three centimeter, how long is that? Can I, can I figure out? Is it, is, it, is, it is it 20 feet? Is it two feet? Is it one foot? How long is it? You have to be able to do that. And that's what we're going to talk about here, units of measurements. Do you understand? Before we, before we, start, with our, before we start with our lesson today, and before I completely forget, this topic was already covered obviously in the previous editions and as you know already we have solved every single problem that appeared in the previous edition the fifth edition that I'm holding in my hand it's a good idea to practice the problem through this this book as well and you will find the solutions to all of these problems that appeared in the fifth edition from day number one to 80 T's just type in T's day one the series begins with T's day one there are no videos after 81 through 100 we started a new series with day 101 when we did Sixth edition, so that not, there is nothing from 81 to 100. Series series five ends at day 80. Watch all the videos, particularly, particularly I would like you to watch day number 37, 38, and 39 because that's where this topic was covered in the previous edition. In addition to that, there are five more videos. It might be useful for you to watch and and learn, do the problems with me, which appear in the series called Basic Math. There is a, there is a series of videos on my on my channel simply called basic math nothing else there, there, don't type in T or anything just type in basic math day 96 96 through 100 there are five videos there day 96 97 so forth all the, the series ends at day 100 so in the last five days of the series I did some problems where we learned how to deal with units of measurements enough said let's get going in this video we're just going to learn basic concepts of the units that deal with metric system. We're going to learn some prefixes. So let's pick up. Enough of the talk. Okay. Very simple thing. Five things as a matter of fact. Nothing more than that. Just five things. First, first prefix is milli. When we talk about milli, what does it mean? Milli means one thousand, one thousand, one thousand. The th of something. One thousand of something. Here are the examples. Here are the examples. We might talk about milliliter, which means one thousandth of a liter. We might talk about milligram, which means a thousandth of a gram. We might talk about millimeters, one thousandth of a meter. One more time, milliliter, milligram, and millimeter. Then we have centi. What does centi mean? Centi. Centi means one hundredth of something again one hundredth with the th one hundredth of something a hundredth of something is called centi such as there is no 
you could talk about centiliter, we could talk about centigram, and we could talk about centimeter, but you will find, you will find that in the daily lives, people usually do not talk about centiliter. You could do that, there is nothing wrong with it. There is nothing wrong with saying centiliter, which simply means one hundredth of a liter. There is nothing wrong with it. It's a perfectly valid concept, but typically we do not hear of centiliter. We do hear milliliter, but very, very rarely we come across centiliter. Sim similarly, you will not hear centigram. People do not speak in terms of centigram. People do not measure, speak in terms of one hundredth of a gram. In the medicine field, we do measure things in one thousandth of a gram. Whatever the one gram is, the weight of that, uh, that quantity, one gram, a thousandth of that is called a centi, uh, milligram rather. But centigram you will not come across. Centimeter on the other hand is very common. Let's carry on. As a matter of fact, centimeter is something you will see on the ruler. What's a deca? What does deca mean? Deca has a root. That's where the word decimal comes from. Deca means a tenth. One tenth. One tenth of something. One tenth of something. One tenth of something. Again, you will not hear decaliter. You will not come across decaliter. Nobody talks about it. You will not hear about decagram. Although there is nothing wrong with it, decagram simply means one tenth of a gram, but you will not come across it. You will not talk about decameter. So we simply don't talk about it. Then we have, oh, I left out, oh, I made a mistake. Deca does not mean one tenth. Deca means ten times. This is deci I'm talking about. Sorry, I made a mistake. This is, the prefix is deci. Deci means one tenth. Deci means one tenth. You will not hear about deciliter, you will not hear about, hear about decigram, and you will not hear about decimeter. It simply is not talked about. Let's move on. I, I made a mistake. Then we have deca, which does not mean one tenth, it means ten times something. Ten times something. Ten times something. If you want to talk about ten times meter, you will talk about decameter. Decameter means ten meters, but you do, we do not hear about decameter. Nobody talks about decameter. Nobody talks about decaliter. Decaliter simply means 10 liters. If you talk about decaliter, it simply will be 10 liters. We do not hear about decagram. Although there is nothing wrong with the concept, but decagram is not something you will come across very often. It simply means 10 grams. If it's 10 grams, people simply say 10 grams. They're not going to say decagram. It's just, it's just too ridiculous. So we have 10 times something wrong. <coughs> like I said, there's only five of them. The last one is kilo. Kilo means a thousand times something. A thousand times something. Don't confuse the concept which means one thousand times something. A thousand times something as opposed to one thousandth of something. One thousandth of something. The TH. A thousand times something. If you have a thousand of something, you, for example, again, I'm going to say something which is going to be very ridiculous. It's a bit silly. But a kilo dollar will simply means one thousand dollar. But of course we do not speak in terms of kilo dollars, do you understand? But that's what kilo means. Kilo simply means one thousand of something. For example, we might talk about kilo liter, which simply means one thousand liters. We might talk about kilogram, which means one thousand gram. A kilogram is simply one thousand grams. We might talk about kilometer. A kilometer, we don't say kilometer, it's pronounced kilometer. We put it together, but that's what it is. Kilo is the prefix. Kilometer, kilometer is simply one thousand meters. That's what it is. That's what it is. Let's do a quick recapitulation. Let's do a quick recapitulation. We need the room. I'm going to have to raise all of this thing. Or oh, we can do it underneath here as much as we can. Here is the recapitulation, and for those of you who do not know the meaning of the word recapitulation, I would suggest that you work on your vocabulary. Recapitulation is, is something that we learn on day number 32 in our vocabulary lessons. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in vocabulary words day one along with my name, and the pre video will pop right up. Just type in vocabulary words day one, and then Keshwani, and the video will pop up. It, it will pop up even without my name. <coughs> Just type in vocabulary words day 32 
post a video where we learned the word recapitulation. So here's a recap, a quick quick recap. Actually, I'm not going to do way at the bottom. I'm going to actually do it on the top here because it's too low. You can erase all of this thing. We are done with all of this thing. Let's erase it. So this says recapitulation, but we're starting. We're, we're doing the recap on the top here. So what did we learn? We learned that one kilogram is simply one thousand grams, because kilo means one thousand of something. One kilometer is simply a thousand meters, because kilo means one thousand. So kilometer would be one thousand meters. For another example, for example, if we talk about one kiloliter, that simply means one thousand liters. Let's talk about one milligram. Let's see what happens. One milligram. Okay, pay attention. One milligram simply means one thousand, one thousand of a gram. One thousand of a gram. Watch what happens. One thousand of grams. So you take one. You take your one gram and you divide it by thousand, whatever this, whatever that weight is, one gram, and you divide by thousand, a thousandth of that amount will be referred to as milligram because milli means one thousandth of something. We might talk about millisecond. Millisecond means a thousandth of a second. A millisecond, a millisecond is a thousand of a second a very small amount of time but we do measure seconds in one thousandth in the olympics and so forth they measure the time to the thousandth digit and you can lose you can work hard and or for four years to prepare for the olympics and you can possibly lose the gold medal by a thousandth of a second and that thousandth of a second is called millisecond do you understand how much you suppose how much do you suppose it would be if I told you that I have 1,000 millimeter long object? 1,000 millimeter. Let's find out, shall we? 1,000 millimeter, which is simply 1,000 times the millimeter. Millimeter means 1,000 times millimeter. Watch what happens. Okay. 1,000 millimeter is simply 1,000 times the millimeter. But millimeter we know, so this thousand is going to come down. But millimeter we know means a thousandth of a meter. It's one thousandth of a meter. We take your one meter and you divide that by thousand. That's a millimeter. Watch what happens. So, one thousand times millimeter, one thousand millimeter is thousand times a millimeter. A millimeter is one thousandth of a meter. You take one meter, divide by thousand. We have thousands at the bottom, we have thousands at the top. If you divide top and bottom by thousand, they cancel out. And what do we find? We find that 1,000 millimeter is a meter. Of course, 1,000 millimeter is a meter because meter is made up of. If you were to take your meter, if you if you were to take a if you were to take a distance of one meter and divide it into 1,000 equal parts, then the thousandth of a meter, the one part out of that 1,000 parts will be referred, the length of that one part will be referred to as a millimeter. Millimeter, just like milligram. Let's do the next one. We did milligram already. Let's do one last one. How about a thousand centimeter? How long is thousand cent, a uh, hundred centimeter? Let's do one, one hundred centimeter. One hundred centimeter, so we have our one hundred and what's a centimeter? A centimeter is one one hundred of a meter. We take one meter and divide by one hundred, that's your centimeter. Again, we have one hundred, I'm going to do it in different color. We have one hundred at the top, we have one hundred at the bottom, divide top and bottom by one hundred, and what we find is that one hundred centimeter it's a meter. A meter is made up of a meter is made up of 100 centimeter. Why? Because that is the definition. That is the definition. That's what centi means. Centi means 100th of something. So if you take a distance of one meter and divide it up into 100 equal parts, 
then each of those parts will be referred to as a centimeter, one thousand, or rather one hundredth of a meter. If you were to take the same distance of one meter and break it up into one thousand equal parts, then each of those parts will be referred to as a millimeter. If you break it up into hundred equal parts, it will be referred to as a centimeter. Do you understand? That's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.